Well, the numbers are startling. Every year, over 300,000 children in this country are at risk of being sold into the world of sex trafficking. And 100,000 of those kids are right here in California. Clearly, parents need to be on guard. I talked to three women working really hard to battle child prostitution in this Fox 11 Investigates. The more we learn as parents, the better we can protect our children. In July of 2002, Erin Runyon, mother of little Samantha, lost her daughter forever. The car pulled up and asked Samantha um, if she would help him find his lost puppy. My Samantha was kidnapped and she was found the very next day sexually assaulted and murdered. Erin didn't want her daughter's death to be in vain, so she started the Joyful Child Foundation. This organization is dedicated to preventing crimes against children through programs which educate and empower families and communities before children become victims of abductions or worse. But every year there are over 58,000 non-family related abductions and of those about 115 are cases like Samantha's where it's a complete stranger and the child is not recovered alive. Each case is different. In each case there's a victim for abduction often leads to exploitation. Dr. Barbara Hernandez knows this all too well. She's a member of the leadership team of Crittenden Services, providing residential and community services to trafficking victims. 1.6 million children run away um, in the United States and one in three will be solicited by an exploiter um, within 48 hours of running. Dr. Hernandez says exploitation starts at an early age. We're talking 12 to 13 years old. The girls that were seeing 90% of them were approached by their first pimp at the age of 13 and by 16 they're already at their third fourth pimp. Tracy Webb prosecutes cybercrime and child abuse cases. Webb says the biggest problem is that most people don't realize how common trafficking is. A lot of people aren't aware that we really do have a problem of with human trafficking right here in our own backyard. And you you know, you talk to people or if you were to, you know, poll a bunch of people and ask them about human trafficking, they would say, Oh, that happened somewhere else. From a law enforcement standpoint, Webb says it's impossible to simply arrest and prosecute out of this problem. The community is part of the answer we all need to get involved. We can't do it alone. And so we need organizations like Aaron Runyon's and we need organizations like Crittenden and the other ones that are out there um, to help us. Aaron didn't have a chance to save her daughter, but she's hoping she can help save other little girls like Samantha. Aroxy Carpadian, Fox 11 News.